Oh yeah, just look at how we move. This dance of the kitten savior. Hello, Mr. Kitten. Now you are coming with us. Mrs. Mom, hold another one of your babies. Oh, I think I see him. Wait, did we really just dive straight into the toilet? Oh, to find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. Jax, you're sick of making jokes like that. Stop doing that. Hello, everyone, friends. Today, you and I will run away from a giant dog head. Wow, we have a skin of some kind of cat. What will we need to do in this game? In this game, we need to save seven kittens. To do this, we need to look for the keys, open these doors, and most importantly, not get caught by these dogs. Let's see what's behind this door. Oh, that's a huge dog's head. We need to go through this obby in order to save the first kitten. Here, some platforms are falling down. Jax, you go through this obby like a real pro. I can already see the end of this obby. Great, we've arrived. Let's save this kitten now. Hello, Mr. Kitten, now you are coming with us. We will take you to your mother. We delivered our first kitten. Oh, the mother of the kittens thanks us and tells us that we have six more kittens left to find. Well, let's move on and find another kitten. Well, let's now explore this labyrinth and find the next door. We need to find the key to one of these doors. Oh, look, it's an orange door. Then it must be an orange key. Okay, we found it. A pack of mad dogs is chasing us. Now we need to deceive them and go through this door. They are quite slow. They can't catch up with us. Great. We're inside. Let's now see what test awaits us ahead. Here you need to choose the right path. I really want to speed run this map in order to get on the leaderboard of this game. Well, so far I seem to be doing pretty well. I complete all tasks very quickly. I'm surprised how quickly you can go through all these buildings. I don't even have time to understand what's happening on the screen. Well, you are very cool at checking all these secret passages. You can go through it very quickly. It seems to me that we are already very close to the kitten. All you have to do is get through this task. Oh look, yes, we went down and now we take another kitten and go with him to his mother. Cool, we delivered the kitten to mom and now we'll go look for the next one. We need to find five more kittens and so far, Jax has managed to get through this without a single death. Well, I hope that he will be able to pass it all on the first try. Look, we found a green key and a green door. Now let's go inside and see what awaits us ahead. This is some kind of obby with bones. Here you need to very carefully jump on these bones in order to get to the finish line. Well, I'm sure Jax will be able to do it on the first try. Yes, just look. He masterfully overcame all these bones. We are saving another kitten. Cool. We get through this game very quickly. Mr. Kitten, you are going with us to your mother. Let's enter this portal. Great, third kitten delivered. Well, there are only four kittens left to find in this maze. I think this is an easy task. It seems to me that these dogs do not pose any threat at all because they are absolutely unable to catch up with us. The hardest part here is finding the keys. You also need to remember the doors you've already been through. Well, I see a yellow key. Let's take it and move on to the next challenge. Yes, let's go into this yellow door now and see what awaits us ahead. Here's another obby. Here you need to jump on these stones and not fall into this strange red liquid. Well, I've seen how Jax copes with all the tests before, and so I think that this test will not be difficult for him either. Well, there is a save point here. This is good. Oh my god, I just almost fell right into that dog's mouth. Okay, let's keep jumping on these rocks. Here, after you jump on one of the stones, the next one immediately appears. It's not as difficult as it might seem. We got to the cage with another kitten, and now the fourth kitten is going straight to his mother. Mrs. Mom, hold another one of your babies. Great! The fourth baby is in place. There are only three of them left, and I hope that now we can find the next room. Well, let's still find a key of a different color from a room we've never been to before. Green key? It seems to me that we have already gone through the door with the green lock. Jax. Let's focus on finding a different color key. I think he must be somewhere nearby. Oh, look. I thought there was a yellow key there. We definitely need to look for a different color key here. Yes, we have definitely been here before. I think we should hide behind the door with the yellow lock for now in order to run around these dogs. Great, Jax. What now let's find another key here. It seems to me that he definitely must be somewhere nearby. Oh, blue castle means let's look for the blue key. And here he is. Great. Let's go through that door. It's a staircase. Let's go upstairs and see what awaits us there. Another labyrinth? Oh, it seems to me that this is an unusual labyrinth. Here, too, you need to choose the right path. 
as was the case in one of the previous tests. There are fake doors here. This test is much more difficult than the ones that came before. But nevertheless, we completed this task faster than all the others, and we are taking the fifth kitten with us. Great. Now we have delivered him to his mother, and we only have to find two kittens in this maze. Well, let's concentrate as much as possible to find them as soon as possible. It seems to me that there must be another entrance or key somewhere nearby. Oh, wait. It seemed to me... Look, a cage right in the middle of this maze. We urgently grab this kitten and run back to his mother. The main thing is that none of these dogs catch up with us now while we are trying to take this kitten from the maze to his mother. Great. I see a way out. Let's take the sixth kitten, and we will only have to find one kitten to complete this game. Just one kitten? Yes, this is the easiest task. I think we will now very quickly find a place where we will find the last kitten. Let's find the last task. Oh, I think I see him. Wait, did we really just dive straight into the toilet? Okay, let's try to complete this task by swimming through these sewer pools. I hope they don't keep this kitten underwater. They don't know how to swim and are very afraid of water. Well, we should hurry up so that they don't do anything bad, so kitten... Jax is a little confused in the controls, but I think we will still have time to save this kitten. Look, there is an undercurrent that cannot be touched. Otherwise, it can push it straight into the mouths of these dogs. Jax goes through everything quite skillfully, as if he was going through this game not for the first time. And now we won't have to run away from these dogs. I think I see a way out. Great. This is the cage with the last kitten. Let's pick him up and take the last kitten to his mother. And here is the last kitten. We collected all seven kittens and brought them to their mother. Look. Now the mother kitten has teleported us to some cool beach where all the kittens we saved are happy and dancing. Well, I think we need to stand among them and dance. Well, let's choose the best place and dance among them. Oh yeah, just look at how we move. This dance of the kitten savior. I really like this game because it has a lot of interesting challenges that I haven't seen in other games. I am very glad that we were able to save everyone they want. Now, let's move on to the next game. Just run forward and don't be distracted by him. We need to find a way out of this huge labyrinth. This is the same test that was in the series, the Squid Game. This is a huge robot coming towards us. He's destroying those towers of blocks. There are only a few shots left to hit his third paw. Wait, seriously? This guy continues to move in the same way. Oh. Hello, everyone, friends. Today, we will run away from Mr. Funny's toy shop. We need to try to open this door. Oh, I don't think we can do this. Well, the green arrow shows us where we need to go. This is a staff room only. It's good that we work in this store. It's pretty dark in here. Let's use our flashlight so we can see what the problem is. We need to go to the next room. Look, there's some kind of leverage here. Let's click on it. We have restored the light. Great. Now, let's go back to our store. Our character heard some steps. I hope no one scares us in this room. It looks like we can be calm and move on. Oh, our huge toy has disappeared from the hall. Well, let's go look for him. We opened the door that we couldn't get into in the first place. Well, let's go there and try to find the toy that is missing. Looks like someone forgot to close the valves and now steam is coming out of the wall. You need to be as careful as possible. Look, there's some kind of thin pipe here. We need to get through it and press the lever to open platforms that will help us come further. We passed this test. Now let's move on. We need to climb this ladder to the top. And what awaits us ahead? It says that this is the number one fun game. The lights went out again. I don't think this is a very good sign. Well, some kind of labyrinth or something like that awaits us ahead. Let's try to find a way out of this maze as quickly as possible. I hope no one jumps out from around the corner and scares us. It seems to me that there is some strange light behind us. Oh my god, it's the same doll. She's running right behind us. Jax, don't stop. Just run forward and don't be distracted by him. We need to find a way out of this huge labyrinth. This guy really scared me. He runs so creepy. Oh, look, I see red arrows. They point to the exit. Great, we found a way out of this maze. Bye-bye, stupid doll. Now we need to pass another test. Let's see what awaits us ahead. There are some stairs and platforms that we need to jump on. Okay, let's climb to the very top. It seems to me that if we just completed game number one, then there will be other interesting games. Yes, on the door at the end of the test, it says fun game two. Well. Let's go in and see what kind of game awaits us. Look, this is the same test that was in the series, the Squid Game. 
You need to go here only when this doll is turned away from you. Well, I think we can handle this easily enough. The main thing is not to move when the light turns red. We just have to wait until he returns from us again. Great! We were able to do it again. Cool! This task was really interesting. I have never seen such tasks in any game where you need to run away from someone. I really like this task. Let's move on to the next room now. There are some lasers here that we need to jump over. Looks like we accidentally hit one of the lasers. It's good that this laser did not cause fatal damage to us, but removed half of our HP. Now we've reached the elevator and let's go up. I think the funny game three is somewhere nearby. Here's a fun game three. Well, I'm very interested in what kind of tests await us. We have to wait for the next game to start. Let's wait and go inside. Okay, now we can go inside. We need to find a safe place. There are several towers made of cubes. Well, let's try to climb one of these towers. Perhaps we can find a safe place there. We only have five seconds left. Oh no, we accidentally fell down. Well, let's try to climb up anyway. We need to survive for 40 seconds. Just look, this is a huge robot coming towards us. Oh my God, what is he doing? He's destroying those towers of blocks. Well, he does it quite slowly. I think surviving for 40 seconds here will be a pretty easy task. Let's wait until he destroys this fortress of cubes and hide in the next one. It seems to me that this guy is just wasting his time trying to break these fortresses because we can move from one fortress to another at any moment convenient for us. Only 14 seconds left. Come on, Jax, just hide behind those brick towers. This guy is trying really hard to run to you, but these cubes are constantly getting in his way. Only a few seconds left. Great, we managed to do it. Now let's go to the exit. I wonder how many games there are in total. So far, we've managed three games without any difficulties. Wow, is this going downhill? He's quite interesting. It has an unusual shape. We're going down a spiral. Well, now we find ourselves in some dark room. It looks like some kind of warehouse. Let's get through it. I hope no one attacks us in this warehouse. There are some shelves with boxes here. Maybe we can find something interesting on these shelves. Looks like not. Oh, look, there are red arrows. We need to run there. There is definitely an exit from this location. Let's quickly go to this envelope tape. Yes, it looks like this tunnel is the exit from here. Let's get through it and see what lies ahead. Another storage room. I see a ladder. We need to climb it. Let's see what's at the top. It's a loader, but what should we do with it? Wait, are we going to go through this track on a loader now? Oh my God, this is very cool. We are jumping over a huge abyss with lava on a loader. I've always dreamed of doing this. This is very cool. I love it. Well, let's drive this route. I hope we can get through everything the first time. It is not as easy as it might seem at first glance. There are a lot of turns and jumps on it. The main thing is to press the jump button in time so as not to fall into this abyss. Yes, this route is really quite long. It seems to me that we have never played anything like this before. Of course, in the escapes from various prisons, there were cars or something like that, but we have never had to drive along long routes in a forklift. This is really cool. The creators of this map tried very hard to diversify it. Great, here's the finish. Well, let's get out of this forklift and up these stairs. It seems to me that at the end of this ladder, the next game number four awaits us. Oh, this reminds me of the Mario game. Well, let's climb into this pipe. Wow, we ended up on some blue platforms. Well, it seems to me that we need to choose the most successful platform and stand on it while the other platforms fall down. Well, it seems to me that we have chosen the most successful platform of all. This is great. We are really very lucky that our platform is not falling down. We are really very lucky. Well, we managed to beat this game with ease. Now let's go where the green arrow shows us. Wow, this is the exit door. Let's see what awaits us behind it. I see some kind of train. Are we really gonna take this train to the exit from this location? This is very cool. Hooray, I'm very glad that we're getting through this game pretty quickly. The train has started moving. Well, let's see where it takes us. Oh, I think we got out. Wait. Is this some kind of huge slide? I wonder what's at the end of this slide. I hope that the train will not derail and we will reach our destination. I also hope that the end of this game awaits us at the top of this mountain. Oh no, wait, I think the rails are collapsing. Oh no, we drove off the rails and now the train is collapsing and falling into some kind of giant tunnel. This is really very creepy. It's great that we managed to survive. And now we're heading to the final game.
I think that in the final game, the final boss awaits us. Yes, just look, it's a spider robot. Well, let's go down and start fighting him. I hope he doesn't kill us. This spider doll really looks very creepy. Just look how terribly he moves his paws. Each paw has its own HP bar. Well, I think we need to shoot specific paws in order to slow down its movement. Jax, aim right at the paws to make it harder for him to run after us. This boss actually decreases HP very slowly. We might have to kill him for a really long time. We were able to break one of his paws. This is very cool. Now let's shoot the next one. I think if we can destroy two of his paws, he will not be able to move normally and will begin to lose his balance. He shoots very creepily from his eyes right at us. By the way, there are also purple puddles here that you definitely can't step into because they cause damage to us. Wait, we broke two of his paws. Why does he keep running like he still has all four limbs? I think this is wrong. I wonder if he will continue to run if we break all four of his legs. I think we need to continue shooting at the next paw to find out if this somehow affects its movement. I don't think he even slowed down after losing two of his four legs. This guy is really quite strange. There are only a few shots left to hit his third paw. He should definitely fall after this. Wait, seriously? This guy continues to move in the same way, having lost three of his four legs. How does he even manage to levitate in the air? It seems to me that this is a flaw on the part of the developers, and this definitely needs to be changed. Only one shot left. Great, we defeated him. It was quite difficult because it took quite a lot of shots to defeat him. It's good that we managed to cope with this. I really like this game. It's quite complex and creepy. Games like this are rare on Roblox. I completely agree with you. I also really like this game because it has a lot of innovations that were not present in previous games. Now let's move on to the next game. This is a huge robot cane. And this Jax looks really weird. It's very unusual to see him like this. He looks pretty interesting. Oh, just look at the light effect around him. This Jax is pretty fast, but he takes a lot of damage. Well, let's now free this very strange Pomni from this prison cell. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will again play Escape from the Amazing Digital Circus. But this time the game will be really different. Just look! Even Obby looks different at the very beginning. There are candy platforms here. This looks pretty interesting. Wow, look! In front is a huge lever that raises the platforms. Yes, this location is really very different from all the ones we played before. I really want to see what the first boss will look like. Let's jump on these platforms and go into the ventilation to meet him. Wood ventilation? It's pretty weird. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's go to the first boss area. And so we are inside. Kane, it's you. Oh, bro, you seem a little crazy. Why is he so noisy? We need to find a way out here! Let's climb this ladder! Oh, wait. Kane, haven't you learned how to climb stairs yet? It says here that we need to find dynamite. Let's find him in this location. And here comes the dynamite. I hope Kane doesn't catch up with us while we carry him upstairs. That's great! It's in our hands! But it seems to me that Kane still has some problems with how to climb stairs. Well, let's now free this very strange Pomni from this prison cell. Look! The bar's exploded! I wonder where she will go and what she will do. It seems to me that she is going in the direction of the pipes we need to climb. Well, she's already at the top and now she'll follow them and most likely open a passage for us. Cool! We managed to free her! Let's now take this strange box. I wonder what we will get. Oh, now we can turn into this Pomni? Cool. Let's now go through this pipe and go to the next vent. Logically, we should be in a room with toilets. This pipe is quite long. In previous escapes from Barry's prison, we have not passed such difficult tests. Well, I already like the way this game starts. Let's quickly go to the room with toilets and see what awaits us there. There are green walls and different levers. Well, let's go to the second booth and dig a tunnel. I'm very interested to see what awaits us in the Obby Dungeon. There are platforms in the shape of ice cream. It looks really cool, but it's kind of weird that the ice cream is in the middle of lava. It's logical that it should have melted, but it retained its original shape. Well, let's now cross this bridge and move on. They decided to leave the bridge the same as it was. Well, this test is quite easy. Now we need to go into the mouth of this creepy clown and pass the next Obby in front of the corridor with a huge rolling boulder. This boulder is blue and it makes very strange sounds. I have never seen such boulders before. Well, let's go through this corridor and go to the next boss. It will be boss night. 
I wonder who will be the boss of the night in this location. Last time it was Zubal. Now this boulder will roll past us and we will run to these stairs. Yes, I'm also very interested in who will be the next boss. Let's go upstairs and find out. There's some kind of egg here. Oh, we were given the ability to turn into this strange yellow guy. Well, okay, we won't turn into him anyway. Look, this is Pomni, which we freed, and now for some reason she is running after us. She looks very strange, and she is very different from the real Pomni. Well, let's run away from her. Did she jump? Really? I thought that she would run after us until the very end of this test, but it's good that she turned around! Now we need to climb these dilapidated steps to the top and we will start the energy drink race! And here comes the energy drink vending machine! Wow, just look at this creepy doll! I wonder who she was supposed to look like! Guys, write in the comments who this doll looks like! Let's beat this energy drink obby and move on to the next challenges. I'm very interested to know who will be the final boss in this game. But I think it will be Kane because he is always chosen as the main boss in these games. We're here for the energy drink race. Now let's go up these stairs and complete the task where you need to place the stairs exactly under the ventilation. Oh look, there is some kind of egg in this room. We were given the opportunity to turn into another strange person. Now let's install this ladder to get into the ventilation. I hope we can do it the first time. Cool, we were able to do it. And now we will need to go through the race with fans. This is as cool a challenge as the energy drink race. There is quite a large distance between the platforms that we need to jump over. I hope Jax doesn't screw this up and can pass this test with ease. I see another egg there at the end. Let's make a few jumps. Get to him and see what character they give us. Wow, look, we can turn into some kind of corrupted version of me. Let's turn into it now. And this Jax looks really weird. It's very unusual to see him like this. It also glows. This is great. Look, there's another egg there. What kind of character will they give us? This is Catnap. Cool. Now let's move on to the boss night. But before that, let's take another egg. And it's a gangle. He looks pretty weird. By the way, Kane, you said that Boss Knight is waiting for us here, but this is the boss cook in the form of Jax. Cool, let's kill him quickly. This Jax is pretty fast, but he takes a lot of damage. By the way, there are still several Easter eggs scattered in this location. We need to fight off Jax and pick them up. Now we've been given another catnap. Cool, let's see what happens in the next egg. Only a couple of shots left. Great, we hit him and he died. At that moment, we took another egg. Now we have been given the ability to turn into a snowman, and we are done with this boss. Now let's head to that slide. Oh wait! Another egg! Some strange blue bear? Cool! Now we need to go down. There are only two tests left to complete before meeting the final boss. I wonder if we will find a few more eggs while we go to him. I think we should turn into some other character. Let's choose one of them. I think it would be cool to turn into a skeleton gangle. He looks pretty interesting. Oh, just look at the light effect around him. He releases some glowing hearts from himself. It looks very nice. We only have to go through the laser test and the bridge test before the final boss. Let's concentrate on passing these challenges in order to meet the final boss and defeat him. I really hope we can get it done as quickly as possible. We've almost passed the laser test. Cool, we're at the top. Now let's go to the bridge room. Here you will need to use our life hack and initially reset all the bars down in order to deal with this as quickly as possible. And we don't have to climb this ladder every time for a new bar. The last bar remains to be reset. Great, we're down. Let's now install these bridges in order to cross them and not fall into this abyss. I just can't wait to see the final boss. Let's try to do everything as quickly as possible. Now we need to pick up the final bar and install it. Cool, we did it. And now let's move on to the final boss area. There's another egg here. Wow, we were given the opportunity to turn into a bear. Now let's fight the final boss. This is a huge robot cane. Oh wait, he runs out of HP too quickly. We only had six shells to kill him completely. It was the easiest boss fight of all time. Why did he have so little HP? I really liked this game because there is the opportunity to transform into other characters. I hope that the creators of modes in Roblox will try to do something similar and we will definitely play it. Now, let's move on to the next game. Oh look, giant Pomni. Skibidi toilet? 
But what is he doing here? It's very strange that there are such characters in the Circus Abbey map. And now we will use this key to open it and go inside. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will go through the most difficult Abbey Circus in Roblox. There's a giant Pomni at the end! We definitely need to move forward and go through all these trials. But why is this the hardest Abbey? Because in the tests in this Abbey, you really have to think a lot and try to get through them to the end. I find it really quite difficult to get through the spinning things. They spin so fast, I can't imagine how you can run past them. It's very cool that Jax managed to complete this task on the first try. By the way, have you noticed that there is really a very large distance between these white platforms? This obby is no longer made for children, but for more experienced players. And now we have walked along this multicolored plasticine, and ahead of us again, there are multicolored platforms that we will also go through very quickly. Skibidi Toilet? But what is he doing here? It is very strange. This is an obby about our circus. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's just keep going through this obby. Oh, we have to guess the right way here. You need to show intuition. Let's try the left one first. Okay, we're through, and now the right one. Yes. Great. Now we are faced with a difficult test in which we need to jump from platform to platform and not touch these glowing pillars. But Jax can do it very quickly. Come on, Jax. Only one platform left. Great. We did it. Now let's climb those stairs. Wait, what? Why are we moving back? Okay, we climbed up it. Now we need to go forward. Again, white glowing cubes that are located quite far from each other. Well, I can say that this is one of the most difficult obbies I have ever completed in my life, not counting the Tower of Hell. Wait, what? I'm being pushed to the left. It's strange that this platform pushes you to the left. After all, there are no marks on it. What's important is that we managed to pass it. Now let's move on. By the way, back to the topic of the Tower of Hell. There is one character among us who completed it completely. Now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen. Pause this video and try to guess in the comments who it is. I hope you answered correctly, and the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one. And yes, you were right. This is Zubal. Yes, guys! Once upon a time, I completed this game completely. It was the most difficult test of my life. I'm actually surprised that I actually managed to do it. I once tried to play Tower of Hell, and I spent 20 minutes trying to pass the first test. After I failed, I just stopped trying to beat this game and quit it. I think you have to be crazy to beat this game. This is a really very difficult game, but it is much more difficult than the one we are playing now. But I also can't say that this obby is so easy. It's really hard to pass. Let's just move on. By the way, did you notice that on the left side of us, there is a huge house with skibidi toilets and some kind of muscular among us? Let's go up to them and look at them. It's very strange that there are such characters in the circus obby map. But in general, the muscular Among Us looks quite strange and funny! Well, let's continue to go through our obby. There are still many interesting challenges ahead. There's some kind of snake or something like that ahead. Let's get through it as quickly as possible. I can't wait to see challenges harder than what we're going through now. Now, we need to jump over these stairs! Well, this is also a pretty easy task. And now we need to jump over these green platforms. Look, these platforms here are installed in the shape of a flower. Well, this task is also quite easy because it seems to me that it is impossible to fall into this central hole between these small platforms. So far, we're getting through it pretty easily. I hope Jax continues to complete these levels just as quickly. Now, the main thing for us is not to step on bad platforms. Well, it's right that you chose to jump on the gray platforms and not on the purple ones. Because if we jumped on the purple ones, we would fall through them. Now let's just keep running forward. I hope we're pretty close to the end of this obby. It's a shame that there is no progress bar like in previous levels, and we can't see how close we are to the finish line. Well, I think the main thing is to just keep running forward and not stop. Now we need to run between these walls as quickly as possible in order to reach the end of this obby! But just look how quickly I go through it! Wow! I was surprised at how I managed to do it. Well, it seems to me that we are already very close to the end of this game. There's only a little left. I think we should run to that huge treehouse. Let's try to get to it as quickly as possible. Again, this staircase that pushes us back. To be honest, she always pissed me off. And now we need to go through these tasks in which we need to choose the right path. 
I'm amazed how Jax manages to always guess the right path. It's really quite difficult. Well, now let's go through some more tests. It seems to me that we are already as close to the finish line as possible. There are only easy tasks ahead. Good thing there are no more tasks with stairs that push us back because this task takes too much time. It's really boring. There's only a little bit left. I'm very interested in what awaits us at the very end. Oh, look. Right in front of us is a giant Pomni. Let's take a look at her. I wouldn't like to dwell on this, but let's at least see what she looks like. Well, she looks pretty funny. And now we can continue further. The finish line is very close. It's very strange that in our circus obby they added only one Pomni model, and nothing else that could be connected with our cartoon. But nevertheless, this obby is quite complex and interesting, so I'm still glad that we played it. Come on, Jax. Push a little more. There are only a few tasks left until the end. By the way, did you notice that there is some kind of huge room with Robux? I wonder what we will get when we enter this room. And here is the end. It's cool that we have a key to this door, and now we will use this key to open it and go inside. Wait, what? Where are our Robux? Why is there some kind of ping pong here? It's quite strange because it requires two players to play it. I was hoping we'd see something different here. Okay, let's go back and try to get ready for this giant treehouse. Maybe there will be something interesting in it, like boosts or other nonsense? And unfortunately not. It's just an ordinary treehouse with absolutely nothing in it. Well, okay, the main thing is that we completed this game completely, and now we can move on to the next game. Wow, this mask is very creepy. It's so good that the Gangle actually doesn't have such a mask. But I would choose the answer, Kinger, because in the Pokemon game, there is a Pokemon Kingler that looks like a crab. Why does he look so much like little Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy? You talked so enthusiastically that you even forgot to write your name correct- Hello, everyone, friends. Today we will play a quiz about an amazing digital circus. I just love this game. Let's try to pass it as soon as possible. Our first task is to guess the character from the poster. I think everything is obvious here. The character on the poster looks a lot like Kafmo. I think this is where it is hidden. Yes, we guessed right. Let's move on to the next one. Purple bunny? Hmm, but I don't even know who could be depicted here. Do you guys know the purple rabbits from our cartoon? There are no purple rabbits in our circus. We only have purple bunnies. I'm already tired of repeating this to you. Guys, this is a poster with my picture. By the way, I'm pretty muscular here. You talked so enthusiastically that you even forgot to write your name correctly. Let's move on to the next poster. Wow, she really looks a lot like herself in real life. Just look at how beautifully they portrayed her. It's Pomni. Great, this was the correct answer. Let's now move on to the next picture. Oh my God, why does he look so much like little Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy? I realize that this is a Kinger, but it really looks more like Groot. Well, let's answer correctly and move on to the next picture. If I hadn't seen this cloak, I wouldn't have realized who it was. Oh my god, just look at this face. Kane, it's good that you look exactly the way you look now, and not the same as in this picture. This is too creepy. Yes, I also think it's very good that I don't look like that. Just look at his crazy eyes. He definitely doesn't look like an entertainer. Gangle has a very round face here. Oh wait, the door opened by itself. Maybe she is reacting to our voice. Let's try to say your name then. Regatta! Regatta! No! Didn't open. What then? Let's write the name in the correct answers. Well, now we will see the last picture. Well, everything is very obvious here. It's clear who is shown in this picture. Guys, pause this video and write in the comments who is shown here. I hope you wrote the correct answer in the comments. You're right, it's me. Now let's move on, guys. It seems to me that we have already completed almost all the quizzes in this game. Let's find a quiz that we haven't taken yet. Look! There is no description in this quiz. There are some gloves drawn here, but who can they belong to? Buddy, I actually have yellow gloves. The correct answer is Jax. Have you really forgotten about this? Well, that was pretty easy. The next picture shows some strange red gift bow. This is very strange because I don't remember a single character who has such a bow. I actually have a bow. Maybe we can try to enter my name? No, that was the wrong answer, unfortunately. Well, let's think logically then. Who else has anything red? I actually have a red hand, but I don't think this answer can be correct. Although, let's try. Maybe we'll get lucky. Unfortunately, no! This answer doesn't suit us either! Well, let's think some more. In general, this red bow consists of red ribbons. We have another character in the circus who consists of red ribbons, and this is Gangle. Let's try to write his name. Wow, this was the correct answer. 
Guys, how did you manage to guess who this bow belongs to? It was quite a difficult task. And now we need to guess who owns this magic wand. I don't even know who has something like that. Maybe we'll choose the answer, Ragatha? You made this choice only because there is purple smoke. I think this is the wrong answer. Oh, it looks like someone answered correctly for us and we came forward. Well, this looks a little like cheating, but nevertheless, we moved on. Crab? It is very strange, but I would choose the answer, Kinger, because in the Pokemon game, there is a Pokemon Kingler that looks like a crab. This was the wrong answer, but I'm sure the correct answer would be Zubal because it has a claw like a crab. It seems to me that Kane is special at solving all sorts of puzzles like this. Well, now we have a chef's hat in front of us, but I remember that our bubble is responsible for food, so we will write a bubble here. And we were right again. This puzzle is very easy because in our circus, there is a character whose name is King, and accordingly, he is very connected with the crown. Well, let's now try to enter my name. Maybe this will actually be the right answer. Hooray! We were right, and the last picture shows the face of a clown. Well, I think everything is very easy here. This is Kauf Mo. And we were right again. Well, I think this quiz was more difficult than all the previous ones that we took before. Let's find something more challenging here. It seems to me that we have already passed almost all the quizzes in this game. Let's try to pass another quiz with puzzles. I think since there is a rabbit drawn here, we will choose the Jack's option. I think this quest will be too easy. It's obvious that a bubble is drawn here, and that means the bubble character is encrypted here. Yes, it was too obvious. Well, let's look at the next quiz. And here is a pink doll. Oh, some girl caught up with us and wants to take the quiz with us. Well, let's help her. I think she's hit a wall and doesn't know the right answer. And the correct answer is Regatta. Looks like we really helped her. Oh, she knew the right answer. She just wrote it very slowly. Well, now let's try to answer this quiz correctly. But now this girl is ahead of us. And the correct answer was Kinga. Wait, what's going on? Why do the answers answer themselves one by one? Wow, this mask is very creepy. It's so good that the gangle actually doesn't have such a mask. Let's write the correct answer. The next answer opened itself again. This girl is really smart. But this picture is more complicated. There's an eye here. Wait, did this girl write the correct answer on her own again? Cool. Red triangle. I think the correct answer would be Zubal because she has a triangular head. Cool. We answered all the questions correctly again. Now we need to choose the next quiz. Guess the character by his Roblox avatar. Well, I think that everything is obvious here. Let's write his name and... Yes! This was the correct answer. Listen, it seems to me that this will be easy. Everything is obvious here today. As for me... I think the correct answer here would be Pomni. Great. It was very easy. Oh! Someone opened the whole door for us! Great! Now I think we need to write Zubal. Well, let's try to write it. She really looks a lot like you. The only thing that gives it away is the oval head sticking out from under your triangular head. Wait, Jax. Did you actually write the name Pomni? Do you really think she looks like her? Hooray! Great! This was the correct answer! This is a very easy quiz! Here the characters are not veiled in any way. Let's write the correct answer here and move on. And this is Regatta. Cool. It's very easy for us today. Well, now you need to correctly guess this guy's name. Who do you think this is, Jax? But it's all obvious it's a gangle. Okay, let's try to write this name. Yes, we were right. Well, that was very easy. We only have two questions left and we know the answers to them. Let's try to go through this much faster and complete this quest to the end. What kind of strange big-eared guy is this? I think it's Jax! Great! This was the correct answer. Well, the last question. The answer to this will be quite easy, I think. Wait, Jax, did you really spell his name wrong? Seriously? Actually correct, C-A-I-N-E. I think it's time for Jax to get some spelling lessons. Okay, this quiz is over. Now we can try to guess the next quiz. Well, let's go to him. I think we need to choose some more difficult quiz. Can you guess the character by his mouth? Hmm. Whose mouth do you think this is? It actually looks like some kind of black moon in a white sky or something like that. Are you guys serious? It's my mouth! Okay, let's write your name. Yes, we answered correctly. Well, that was very easy. But then it's a little more complicated. Just look at that jaw and white teeth. I only know one character in our circus who has a jaw and white teeth, and it's Kane. 
Cool. We answered correctly. It was very easy. Wait, this is very similar to the iron ingot from Minecraft. I can't even imagine whose mouth this is. Maybe we can try writing Pomni's name? Yes, and we turned out to be right. Well, that was very easy. Only two mouths left. Look at that mouth. I don't understand who it could belong to. Could it be Ragatha? Yes, and this was the correct answer! Wait, what? Completely pink question? Hmm, who among us all could have such a mouth? Well, for example, my mouth is not visible, so I think you can write my name. Well, let's try it. And yes, that was the correct answer. Listen, this was also a very easy quiz. Let's find something really challenging. I saw nearby there were quizzes in which you need to squint your eyes. And here he is, squint your eyes to guess the character part two. Well, let's try. Okay, I narrowed my eyes. Who is this? I think it's very similar to Zubal. Yes, we were right. It was very easy. Okay, now I'm trying to squint my eyes and I can't see anything. Guys, maybe you know the correct answer? Let's check our viewers. Maybe our viewers will answer correctly who is shown in this picture? Well, okay. Guys, pause the video and write the correct answer in the comments. You will help us a lot with this. Well, did you squint your eyes? Great, now let's see the correct answer. Yes, guys, you were right. It's me, cool. Now we move on to the next picture. This picture isn't that complicated. Here is a huge ball with lightning. Its silhouette is very similar to a bubble. Well, let's try entering the name of the bubble here. Maybe you really will be right. And we guessed right again. We are real professionals in this game. Well, here are two mountains drawn at the foot of which there is some strange dude and two islands flying in the sky. What could it be? Bubble, how many times have we already asked you to fix your microphone? And this image is absolutely exactly me. I am sure about that. Write my name and you definitely won't go wrong. Just look, he really got it right. To be honest, I didn't notice the real picture even when I squinted my eyes. And here I am absolutely sure that Kane is drawn. I recognize these eyes from all the eyes in the world. Just this time, try to write my name correctly and not like you did last time. Bro, are you serious? Why did you decide to write the wrong title? Maybe you forgot how to spell my name again? Relax, I'm just kidding. I was thinking maybe there is some kind of bug in this game and it actually counts all the answers. But as you can see, this is not so. And now I wrote your name correctly and we moved forward. Damn, it looks like half of our cart is hanging over the abyss now. This look scares me madly. It feels like she's about to grab us with her hand, after which she's gonna eat us. We're driving sideways again like it's some kind of drift cart or something. Oh no, we fell. This guy still decided not to listen to our advice and flew down. Hello everyone, friends. Today we will ride a cart straight into Pomni's mouth. Whoa, look, there are skins here. Wait, is that me? I look very strange. Well, okay, let's get in the cart and go forward. Wow, the carts look a little different in this game. Just look at this. Is that the Pomni's face on the back in front of this cart? Yeah, it looks pretty weird, but it's funny. Wait, did you see how big this track is? It seems to me that we will be climbing it forever. Well, I hope that we will be able to drive it completely today. There are a lot of sharp turns here. Don't forget to watch the speed jacks. Yes, this track looks much more difficult than the one we played before. Well, we love difficulties, and that means we will try very hard today. Look, there are three guys riding after each other. We need to try not to crash into them, but it seems to me that one of them is forming a traffic jam there. Well, now we'll get closer to them and find out. I hope that these guys will not slow down and will drive forward. It seems to me that we will now have to stand with them because these guys are taking too long. Well, let's slow down a little. Oh, I think they started moving faster. Maybe this means that they have overcome this traffic jam and will now drive fast. No! It seems to me that they will still remain just as slow. Well, I hope that they will begin to fall one by one and clear the way for us. Wait, are we stuck? Oh no, not this! I don't think it's a good idea to go back! Oh no, we fell! Well, now we have to start again. I hope it won't be too long. Let us now be reborn and start again. But this time we will control the speed on all corners of this track. This guy spawned a cart for us. Let's sit in it. I hope he doesn't sit down with us. I don't want anyone to be an extra burden on our cart. I think this is the right decision. Now let's just speed up and try to get to the top of this location without falling even once. Have you forgotten that we agreed not to drive too fast and to control the speed on all turns? It is very important for us. We can't fall down. This guy still decided not to listen to our advice and flew down. Well, 
Oh, just look! It's the giant Pomni watching us again. Her look is very creepy. Oh no! We're going straight into a corner and I forgot to slow down. Damn, it looks like half of our cart is hanging over the abyss now. Now it will be much more difficult for us to move forward. This is why I told you that it is important to slow down before turns. Now we need to be as careful as possible everywhere in order not to fly off this route. This look scares me madly. It feels like she's about to grab us with her hand, after which she's going to eat us. Didn't it seem strange to you at all that we were now drifting all the way as if we were driving a Japanese GDM car? Just look how huge this track is. I'm afraid that we won't be able to drive it all the way when our cart went off the rails. I think if we continue to control the speed at each turn, we will still be able to do it. A very winding path awaits us ahead. Maybe we should drive it all the way at low speed? Oh no, we're already stuck. We managed to drive forward, and it seems to me that we are now driving at the same speed with which we would never fall in our lives. Need to concentrate on riding. Oh no, we're stuck again. But it's good that it wasn't for long. The road ahead is very winding. I really hope that we will be able to drive this route and not fall down. The main thing is not to speed up because this whole route consists of turns. It was quite difficult and slow, but I did it. A small climb awaits us ahead. The main thing is to drive it as carefully as possible. Great, we managed to do it. Now, let's climb this giant spiral climb. And now we are already at the top. Great! Now we have a few more climbs to climb. This route is really very long. It is much longer than the route we took last time. I'm very interested in what awaits us at the end. It would be great if at the end we were given a large number of boosts with which we could fly all over this route and prevent other players from completing this game. I really hope so too! But now the main thing is not to think about the finish and concentrate on the game so that we still manage to pass it and not fall down. We're driving sideways again like it's some kind of drift cart or something. But we started getting stuck very often due to this unusual position of the cart. It's a little annoying. We are getting closer and closer to the finish line. It seems to me that we will still be able to complete this game to the end today. At least that would be very cool. I'd rather see what's at the end. Wait! Just don't tell me that this huge piece of the route is still waiting for us. Oh my god! This is much more difficult than I thought. I was hoping that this route would be much shorter. Well, let's still try to get through it to the very end. I thought I had already seen part of the finishing room just now. It seems to me that there will really be a huge number of boosts. We just need to go forward and not stop. Oh, looks like we're back in the place where all the carts get stuck. I think it will be very difficult to get through it. Unfortunately, it is impossible to pass it only if we gain great speed. Let's stop and try to push this cart to its maximum. Perhaps we can overcome this obstacle at high speed? Oh no, we've gone too fast. Jax, we need to slow down and slow down, otherwise we will definitely fly off this track. We slowed down, but this cart still flies faster than a rocket. I think it's broken. We need to try stopping again and slowing down. The main thing is not to overdo it with this button, otherwise we may go back. The main thing is that we don't fly off this route. Oh no, that's exactly what happened. We were so close to the finish line and fell down. This time it is truly the most difficult track we have ever played. Therefore, I think that we should try to switch to another mode and try to complete it completely. Have you noticed that one of his hands is blocked and now he shoots from it all the time? Dog day again? Wow! Just look at this guy! He's trying so hard to catch up with us. Only a couple of shots left! Don't stop shooting! Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Dog Day Prison Escape. Yes, but today we are not playing alone because today our subscriber will play with us. And if you guys want to play with us and get into our video, then you need to do a few simple steps. You need to like, subscribe to our channel, write your Roblox nickname in the comment, and then send a request to be added as a friend to our profile. We will select one random subscriber and invite him to join us in the lobby to play Roblox together. Therefore, if you want to get into our video, just follow a few simple requirements and we will definitely invite you to our video. So now let's concentrate on completing this map. Just look at our subscriber. She completes all the tasks quite easily. Well done. Now let's go see the first boss. We already know that the first boss will be Dog Day. Let's try to get past him and not fall into his clutches. I hope we can do this. We've already escaped from these bosses many times, and I think this boss will be no exception. Well, let's now just take the stairs and climb to the very top. I think it will be easy for us. 
Just look at this guy. He's trying so hard to catch up with us, but he's not succeeding. Looks like our subscriber is having some difficulties. Well, I'm sure she should catch up with us soon. She did it. She caught up with us. Well, let's now go with her to the room with toilets. Now we will need to go through the obby dungeons with her. Great! We're in a room with toilets! Let's choose the second booth, take a shovel, and dig this tunnel into the dungeon. This is the easiest task in this game. There is nothing complicated here. Great! We found ourselves in a dungeon. Now we need to get through this obby ASAP. This task will also be easy for us. I hope for our subscriber, too. Oh, I don't think so. She fell. Well, let's wait for her. She writes that she is scared. Hey, buddy, don't worry so much. It's all just a game. We will definitely be able to pass it. We made it! Great! Now we need to cross this bridge with black puddles. Oh, I think she didn't notice this black puddle and accidentally stepped on it. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Now we'll just move forward. Well, let's now pass this obby and quickly hurry up to run through the long tunnel with the rolling boulder. In fact, we have already spent quite a lot of time. During this time, we could manage to complete the game twice, but our subscriber is not very good at dealing with obstacles in our way. Well, if she trains, then everything will work out much better for her. Now let's hurry up and pass this rolling boulder test. Just look at this location. Usually map creators make these tunnels black or gray, but here it is yellow and there are buildings on the walls. Well, this is very cool. Yes, I also really like how they worked on the design of this location. It looks really very nice. It's very rare that map creators try so hard in their games. Great! We have almost passed this test to the end, and now we will see the night boss in this game. Dog day again? <gasps> wow! This guy decided to try out all the roles in this game. How cool is this? And now we deceived him again. And now we go to the tower with dilapidated steps. I just now noticed that we have been playing for 2,800 seconds. Well, today we definitely won't be able to set a record, but this is all just because we tried to go through this map with our subscriber. Yes, but there's nothing wrong with that. I am very glad that we communicate with our subscribers. They are very cool guys for following us. We have a question for you, dear subscribers. Which of us do you think decided to create this channel and start recording gaming videos? Now the shadow of this character will appear on your screen, and you pause this video and write in the comments who it was. Well, guys, did you post your answer in the comments? I hope you did it, and we're right. And the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one, and yes, it was me! Great job, guys, and now we're doing the energy drink race, which means that we are getting closer and closer to the boss chef. The end of the race is very close. This test is the coolest, but not the easiest in this game. I really like it. But the task with the stairs is the stupidest task in this game. It always infuriates me that we almost never managed to jump into this ventilation the first time. Oh my god, just look, this time it worked. This is probably the first time this has happened since we've been playing Barry's Prison Escape. It's so good that all the tedious tasks are left behind. Now we have a race ahead of us with fans, after which we will go straight to the wind tunnel. I hope Jax has enough skill to pass this test the first time. Don't worry, buddy. I completed this task 1,000 times, and I can complete it the thousand first time without any problems. I'm really pro at this game, and nothing will make me stop. Just look how he does those jumps. Jax, looks like you're really good at this game. It seems to me that we can really try to set records here. I'm sure we can do it. Now let's go to the boss cook. Here he is. It's dog day again. This time he's in the role of the chef's boss. Let's quickly go to arms and defeat him. I hope this boss won't be as buggy as the previous chef bosses who like to get stuck in tables. Don't forget to shoot him right in the head, Jax. This way you deal more damage to him. The main thing is that he doesn't come too close to us. Need to maintain a safe distance. Only a couple of shots left. Don't stop shooting. Well done, Jax. You did it very quickly. This boss dog is some real noob. He moves very slowly. We only have a few steps left to do. We need to climb this wind tunnel through the lasers and complete the task with the bridges. I hope you cope with this task the first time. They changed the design of this wind tunnel. She's all yellow. It's like we're walking up a chimney or something. It's very strange that there are lasers in the chimney, isn't it? Only one laser left to overcome. We handled it very easily. Basically the same as always. Now let's do the bridge challenge. This is the only task we have left to complete before meeting the final boss. The main thing is to use a life hack with which we will complete this task very quickly. You're doing it right, Jax. You must first throw all the bridges down and then place them between the platforms. This is the right decision. 
We dealt with it very quickly. Now let's defeat the final boss, Dog Day. Wait, is he standing in one place again? Oh my god! When will the creators of the map learn to make sure that the final boss doesn't stop but tries to catch up with us? This, of course, makes our task much easier. But because of this, the final boss fights become very boring. Wait, have you noticed that one of his hands is blocked and now he shoots from it all the time? Just look at this. It looks very funny. The main thing is not to come close to these shells. Well, let's now shoot at the second hand. There are only a few shots left to defeat him. We did it. Great, Jax. Well done. You shoot very accurately. I really love Dog Day, and that's why I really like this map. Now let's move on to the next game. Wait, is this Kaufmo? How did you even get stuck in this table, buddy? Just look. Is this a pregnant Pomni? Oh my god. This is also Zubal. And she is also very pot-bellied. They really look like they're pregnant. That this is the biggest boss in all the Barry Prison Escapes. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Escape from our amazing Digital Circus. This map is a little different from the previous one we played, but nevertheless we were told that it would be a little more difficult. Look! There are unusual platforms there. They extend and levitate. I think it will be really more difficult than what we went through earlier. I like that the map creators really experiment and bring something new to the game. It really added a lot of variety to the gameplay. I really hope they change the bosses at least a little. Last time the bosses were quite detailed and very similar to us. I wonder what they will be like this time. Oh my god. Just look. Is this a pregnant Pomni? Why is she so pot-bellied then? She's really very pot-bellied here. Well, I hope because of this she will run after us more slowly and will not catch up with us. I think she's catching up with us! Oh, looks like it! She followed us up to the second floor! Well, I think we can easily escape from her. Great! The first boss is behind us. I really hope they didn't make all the bosses so pot-bellied. Otherwise, it would be too weird. Now we need to run to the room with toilets. Let's try to set a record and not open other doors, but just open the one that actually has a tunnel in it. I definitely remember that the tunnel is in toilet stall number two. Yes, he ended up here. That's cool. Let's go through both of these dungeons now. You mean a dungeon with platforms and a tunnel with a rolling boulder? By the way, look, they changed the obby. Here you need to jump on these platforms and press the button. This is much cooler than a dilapidated bridge and a bridge with some strange liquid. We've almost completed this obby, and now we're facing the rolling boulder challenge. This is one of the easiest challenges in this game. But first we need to jump on this garbage that someone threw into the lava. By the way, what is this anyway? It looks like some kind of baskets and server racks. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's just try to quickly get through this tunnel with a rolling boulder, and we will meet the boss knight. I'm very interested in who will be the boss of the knight in this mode. Well, now we find out. Last time we played Escape from our circus, this boss was Zubal. Now we will see who will be here. Oh my god. This is also Zubal. And she is also very pot-bellied. Well, she looks very funny. They really look like they're pregnant. Crap! She got stuck and now we have to wait until she lays down to run around her and go to the tower with dilapidated steps. Great, we ran around it. And now we need to quickly run to this tower with dilapidated steps. Let's hurry up. We've already gone quite far, and it only took us 170 seconds. Now we have a race with energy drinks. And here comes the energy drink vending machine. Wow. I really love this obby with energy drinks, because everything happens so fast here. This is very cool. I wish the entire mode could be completed at that speed. By the way, guys, what character do you think edits our videos? Now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen. And you pause this video and write in the comments who it could be. Well, guys, did you write a comment? I hope you answered correctly. The correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one, and yes. You were right again. It's Gangle. Great job, guys. Well done. And now we have a race with fans ahead of us. This is also one of the easiest tasks in this mode. We have never managed to lose on it. I think I can easily pass this test. I have passed this test many times already and have never failed. I really want to set a record this time. So far, we're doing pretty well. And now we are waiting for those same tedious tests with valves that infuriate us so much. It would be great if they changed this task at least a little. Well, now we'll check it. Let's quickly make our way through these pipes to the very top and see what awaits us there. Oh, just look! They even added levitating cubes here. Well, it really diversified this game a little, like these pipes instead of the platforms that were here before. Well, that was pretty easy, but very boring. Now let's quickly go to the race with the fans. 
This is also one of my favorite obbies in this game because here we also have to run pretty fast. Yes, I completely agree with you. It's really a lot of fun and one of the most interesting challenges in this game. Now we need to be as concentrated as possible because we are really coping with this game very quickly and we can set a record in it. We finally got to the cafeteria. Wait, is this Kaufmo? I was hoping to see anyone here, but not him. It is very funny. Wait, is it stuck in the table? Oh my god, Kaufmo. You are as useless as always. How did you even get stuck in this table, buddy? Are you serious? Come on, maybe you can at least try to run after us a little. It finally happened. Well, I thought that he would stand on this table forever. In any case, we will kill him pretty quickly because this is one of the easiest bosses in the game. And also, because it's Kaufmo! He was always so slow. Well, let's deal with him as quickly as possible and move forward. We have very little time left before meeting the final boss. I also think that we need to speed up a little because we are very close to setting a new record. Now we will find ourselves in a wind tunnel with lasers. And after that, we will need to go to the location where there is a task with bridges. Well, there are only two simple steps left before meeting the final boss. And we have almost passed this tunnel with lasers. Just a little left. This task is also quite easy, but it is not the easiest in this game because several times we managed to die by touching the lasers. And here is the task with bridges. Wait, did they remove the need to install bridges here and just leave platforms? Okay, this will be pretty easy. Let's jump over them and go to the final boss. And here comes the final boss robot Kane. Just look how huge it is. It seems to me that this is the biggest boss you've ever seen. Yes, it also seems to me that this is the biggest boss in all the Barry prison escapes. This boss doesn't need to shoot off his arms, just shoot him in the body. But it's very strange that he doesn't even try to shoot at us, but just runs after us. Nevertheless, we dealt with it very easily. Well, we managed to complete this map in 500 seconds. It was pretty easy. Now let's move on to the next game.